Ah! We're straight into the bugs on the back. Man. Ah! I hate it. I hate it. I... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Kobe and this is Cash. And we are about to get stuck into Indiana Jones again. So I watched my first film last time, which was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Now I know that that is the film that you guys saw second because it came out three years later, but I decided to watch them in chronological order. So because that one was set in 1935 and Raiders is set in 1936, I thought this would make more, uh, more sense to me to, to start in that way. So I'm excited to see, you know, what was the introduction to the character and the series for everybody because this was um, the first thing you all saw, I guess. So I know also, unfortunately, that Ki Hoi Kwan is probably not in this movie because <laughs> it wouldn't make sense for him to be aging backwards, like I think I mentioned when I was watching uh, Temple of Doom. But I'm just going to pretend that he, I don't know, I guess got adopted out by a beautiful family and, and uh, is happily studying in some beautiful school and still keeps in contact with Indy. I don't know, but he was my favorite. I adored him in Temple of Doom, so I'm going to miss him, but I'm excited to see what happens. It's only a year later. I don't know if Kate Capshaw's even in this. I don't, I doubt it. I doubt that they're still together as characters, but we'll see. So without anything else left to do uh, for the full watch along, head over to Patreon and let's play the movie. Raiders of the Lost Ark. What is this, 1981? I'm so fresh off the other film, I'm like, okay, wait, where are we? We're not in India, where are we? this is all new. And does he go back to the school ever? Or is that just a thing that I'm imagining and making up? I feel like I've seen images of him, like I said, you know, with the glasses and uh, at the university. Do we ever get that? Or is that just his backstory? A lot of similarities so far. <laughs> Uh, Alfred Molina! What did I just see him in? The Watcher. And a million other things. Jungly. This is very, like, Predator. I knew we were here. They would have killed us already. I love that we're just straight back into it. Like, there is no... <laughs> there is no... There's no breathing space. Back into an adventure. Another map. I love it. This is exactly how I used to make maps as a child, you know, when you'd make like fake treasure maps, pour coffee all over the paper and then burn the edges to look exactly like that. <laughs> See, I know him, but for you guys, or for everybody that watched this when it first came out, this was like the first time you saw his face like that and everything. I'm like, oh, hey, buddy. This is it. Another little bag. See, this is reminding me of like going under the palace with uh, with short round when Capshaw was flipping out in the bedroom. <laughs> I wonder what people's favorites, like, you know, whether fans love this or the second one more, or if it's neither, or if it's the third or the fourth. <laughs> We're straight into the bugs on the back. Man. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I... <laughs> they're like, I mean, I think they're the tarantula looking ones that aren't actually hurtful, but harmful, but still. They're juicy spiders. <laughs> That's not right. That skull still like has an eyeball in it. That would not, that would not be there. <laughs> I love how the booby traps always have a skeleton like skewered on there somehow forever just to reinforce what will happen. Oh, Melina. I gotta say, already, like, even just all these locations and sets and the whole thing, it just, as much as I never thought I was an adventure film fan, be fun movies to make. Let's hurry. There's nothing to fear here. Let's 
scares me. Has he got a mustache? Or is that just a shadow? Oh no, he's got a mustache! He didn't have a mustache before, did he? No problem. These movies are booby trap central. I think I've combined like all these sort of weird memories together because this looks like this is what I thought it was gonna look like when he found the egg in the in the other one, you know, the stone. I mean, some of that Indiana Jones glow, that lighting on his face. That I'm used to. Oh, he's switching out the weight, like the hotels, the mini bar fridges, when they know you've taken something and they charge you straight away. Oh, man. I mean, he has like nine lives. He is one lucky dude. No time to argue. Throw me the idol. I told you the win. <gasps> he trusted him. Please don't. Please don't. No. Well, now I know he's a baddie, so he's not the new sidekick. Alfred Molina is not the new um, short round. Yeah. Did the Indiana Jones thing again? See through the garage door. I'm telling you. Wait, is that meant to be? Oh, it is. That was meant to be Alfred Molina right there. <laughs> So during the Temple of Doom, at the end scene, through the mines, I was like, this is the ride, like at Disneyland, but there's a ball that chases you. This is the ball. Okay, so the ride is like a combination of stuff. Again, we see there is nothing you can possess which I cannot take away. Don't know either way I do. I'm sure he does, right? <laughs> Is this guy waiting for him, or is this just a civilian who he's going to commandeer his uh, plane? <laughs> oh, no. I see lots of swinging vines swinging, and he swings in the other one. His hat wet just turned into, like, one of those little bucket hats that are all the rage now, a little fisherman hat. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> See, I don't mind the snake so much. I'd take that any day over the bugs and the spiders. Oh, well, that was a pretty, you know, easy escape. And three chambers or cysts. This is what I was talking about. This is the imagery that I, I sort of remember seeing at some point, you know, photographs, whatever stills, when they're talking about the movie. The, the professor version, his Bruce Wayne. However, chamber three was undisturbed, and the undisturbed chamber and the grave goods that were found in the <laughs> Her eyelids say, love you? <laughs> and I will be in my office on Thursday, but not Wednesday. And because this was made first, it's not even going to be like he has a little picture of Short Round on his desk or anything. <laughs> I'm sure everything you do for the museum conforms to the International Treaty for the Protection of Antiquities. It's beautiful, Marcus. He risks his life for the museum. I knew you were coming before I did. You seem to know everything. You couldn't tell me what they want. What do I want to see them for? What am He's so, like, klutzy and kind of, you know, like, holding all this stuff in a little bit... German archaeological dig going on in the desert outside of Cairo. Well, we've got some information. Yeah, so they are going to Egypt. See, I knew that there had to be an Egypt part. Well, well the city of Tanis is one of the possible resting places of the Lost Ark. The Lost Ark. That's what we're looking for. See, they may have taken the Ark back to the city of Tanis <laughs> and hidden it in a secret chamber called the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls. The city of Tanis was consumed by the desert in a sandstorm which lasted a whole year. The Roth. Is he trying to say Wrath? I guess they say Roth. Roth. Wrath. No, no, not really. Ravenwood is the real expert. 
He's so different in his suit at work. Now, what's that supposed to be coming out of there? Lightning. The fire. Power of God or something. Let's see the poster. What can I? What can I get from here? Nothing. <laughs> An army which carries the ark before it is invincible. So they're all based on like the adventures are, you know, based on recovering this stuff that has very supernaturally and spiritual powers, you know. He hasn't just looked for something that's just worth money. You did it, didn't you? They want you to go for it. Is this his house? Are we seeing Indiana Jones's house? The museum gets the art when we're finished. Oh, yes. So he does do it for his love of the work and stuff, and he wants the museum to have it afterwards, but man, he risks his life for it. I think I know where to start. Gotta pack the jacket. Gotta pack the jacket and the whip. That's what goes into the suitcase. The jacket and the whips. Going after a fine incredible historical significance, you're talking about the boogeyman. Oh, see, that's just what I said. He is in this, because it came out first. He is saying he just cares about it having like historical significance, you know, and cultural relevance and like wanting to keep it for this, you know the sake of history and saying he doesn't believe in the boogeyman. But we just watched Temple of Doom. Where, you know, there's a huge spiritual element and, like, superpowers and, you know. <laughs> so that's sort of, not a, not a problem, but that sort of counteracts, count contradicts, like, what, you know, what he just experienced a year prior, but when this was made didn't exist, so. Let's go to Egypt, baby! Egypt is another one that's on my bucket list to go to. These Indiana Jones movies are really pointing out the places I need to get to. Oh, yeah! I thought because they're so old, they'd be more like recognizable faces in like smaller roles. You know what I mean? Where you're like, I know that person, but wait, who's that? I should know her. Who's that? Ah. What are we even playing for? What are we playing drinking games for? What, are we, what is going on? <laughs> She's already a lot more rougher, tougher than Willie, than, than Kate Capshaw. Hello, Marion. Indiana Jones. <laughs> cool shot with the shadow. I need one of the pieces your father collected. Oh. I learned to hate you in the last 10 years. You knew what you were doing. Now I do. This is my place. I love that he's all of it. He's the ladies' man. He's the, you know, he is James Bond. He's the adventure Bond. They're Bond movies, you know? Where's Abner? Where's Abner? Abner's dead. Very absurd. Was that her dad? Is that who he's talking about? 3,000 bucks. Well, then we'll get me back. I can get you another two when we get those sticks. That'd be the equivalent to a lot more money than that right now. What's he offering her? Like the equivalent of. Come back tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Little eye shot through the shadows. Again, all these sets and stuff is so cool. A lot of fire. Ooh. She still has it. Uh oh. Bar is closed. Creepy. Why are you willing to offer more? I know I made a Who Framed Roger Rabbit reference to the last one. But this reminds me of him too. The Christopher Lloyd at the end with the hat and the glad little round glasses. Hey, how how about a drink for you and your men? Where's her medallion? Yes. The rest of them don't look German, though. They don't look. No, 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 no. He's gonna come back in. Let her go. The mustache is throwing me. I'm not used to it. Uh oh. Does he even know that's there? Or does he just come back to save her, like, regardless of that? Ah! 
She can't blow that and turn into fire. I don't think that works. Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, spit like a Molotov -y cocktail -y thing. It was, like, cinematic, yeah, but not l logical. Shoots him. Shoots him both. I thought he said showtime! He said shoot them! <laughs> no, dude. I wonder if that was hot from the fire or because he is, you know, bad dude and it knew that. My medallion! <laughs> okay, now we go to Egypt. Ah, uh, this is cool. I want to see it so badly. He's always just like so, I mean, almost burnt. He's like super tan, but always like so sun kissed and red. <laughs> If I don't get Kihoi Kwan through the whole movie, please let me keep the monkey. Let the monkey stay. He's very clever. He's a French archaeologist. What's his name? Well, we call him Baloche. He knows him. <laughs> Friend or foe? If it is there, Tarnis, then it is something that man was not meant to disturb. It is not of this earth. Do we need the monkey? Huh? The monkey's staying! <laughs> He's a smart little thing. Smart. This feels like bigger stakes in terms of like this, you know, the arc and everything and the power that it holds um, compared to the stones. We'll see. These markets are insane. So cool. So crowded. With the little alleyways, perfect for like, you know, chase scenes, getaways, <laughs> fight scenes. Is this guy just more Germans? Is this guy German? I like that nothing was said. Just went straight into fighting. Wasn't like, look out, Quaker. Oh, just straight into it. Go, go, go. He's going to catch on. Jump on. Is this guy? He doesn't look German either. He was like right behind. <laughs> like he was like right behind her. He just stabbed her. Hide in the basket. Hide in the basket. <laughs> you know when they were carrying that pass before, I was like, that is a big basket. <laughs> this guy has just come out of nowhere. Look at the size of his sword. <laughs> that was that. That was perfect. Now I know why. I was like, look at the size of the sword, so dramatic. And then. They're fun. They are fun off the bat. Like, it's. I, I must admit, I probably should have watched them earlier. See, always flushed and red and hot and sweaty. But she went the other way. Uh oh. No, no, no. Surely not. Unless we're starting devastatingly again. But no. The basket came out before. Oh my gosh! For real? No. I feel like she's gonna just show up. Or this is gonna be his motivation for the whole mission and because of her dad and her. No way! No, she's gonna be there. Turn around, she's behind you. No! I oh, well, I got the monkey. Really? She blew up in the car? I ought to kill you right now. Not a very private place for a murder. And this is Balok. We can at least behave like civilized people. Is that his French accent? Is this the French guy? Is that him doing? <laughs> Fall down. My methods have not differed as much as you pretend. I am a shadowy reflection of you. No. Uh-uh. You want to talk to God? 
Let's go see him together. <laughs> he's a hero. He's a he's a, and a monkey. But I'm still not I accepting that she just blew up. I thought I would find you there. But I think I'm gonna have to. United States Marines, eh? There he is, dead. Yes, I know. Oh gosh. Okay. Unexpected, but I guess that's like, you know, in the opening of the other one in the, in like the James Bond type bar scene where he was dressed like Sean Connery, um, his assistant or his buddy died then. But I thought that was going to be the new love interest, but uh-uh. Little poison. Maybe pour it on just one dish. On one side, there were raised markings just like that one. Ooh, I forgot which bowl was poisoned. No, I can't lose the monkey. I can't have him poisoned. Belloc staff is too long. They're digging, digging in the, the wrong, wrong place. place. <laughs> I am the monarch of the sea. <laughs> no. Monkey save you. Oh, no. <gasps> Come on. On that ridge. But over there. Let's go. Come on. But how are they digging without having it shine through and show them yet? Wait, this is the this is the map room he's in, right? Oh, and that's how it shines on exactly where to go. It's where to put the staff. No, but the staff has to go in the same. Oh no, oh, it was about where to put it. Oh, that's what you needed the code for. Is where to right, 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 right. Okay. Sorry, bear with me. And now it's gonna shine right where the Well of Souls is. I apologize if everything I'm saying is wrong. <laughs> that beam though is so super <laughs> Okay, we're off, we got a location. We just skipped through getting him out. It was just too hard to shoot. <laughs> hey! It was too much. I thank you. It was pretty tragic. And I had held out hope, but then when the other guy went, yeah, I've heard, but I'm glad she's okay. All right. Back in. Still sad about the monkey, but I'm back in. Yeah, yeah but they yeah. might kill her. Or they're going to use her as, like, I don't know. No, okay. As bargaining later if they need to. But he thinks she's dead. Ah! I would not be pleased. They're so close. The Nazis are still so close, though. They're only slightly off. I thought this thing could have been miles away, not like within this little compound. Ugh, this guy's creepy. Oh, he's got his crew ready to dig already? Oh, we're just, we move along quick. And no one's even looking and seeing that they're up there doing that and like curious or okay. It's a very like Australian looking shot, even though it's Egypt with that hat that could be like in a Kubra. It's like a very burnt Aussie desert image. Clear it off. Come on, find the edges. How's he managed to get up there go and get away with it this far? And he's recruited dudes. They're digging. They're making progress. Nobody's asked questions. They're just like 
excavating away with impunity. Oh, this isn't even a cave. This is like a whole structure. Cue the bugs. Oh, there are snakes. Better, but still on in that amount, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But he should be used to it. Oh, he hates snakes. I hate snakes. <laughs> Maybe we just left her there. I would be so annoyed. Three weeks in every direction. So please eat something. Imagine that. They're three weeks walk from any kind of civilization. You die. In this part of the world, we are not entirely uncivilized. <laughs> this is Balok, but he had a hat on before, right? Yeah. Soon they will come to army, and I will not be able to stop them unless you are able to... Oh, he's perving on her. Although she did walk right into the sight of the uh, reflection. Well, you are beautiful. <laughs> She's doing well, faking it. And they're all different too. Like that one's one of the huge ones. <laughs> Look at its little face. Get down here. See, I feel bad. The monkey dies and I'm all upset. Now he's about to burn alive thousands and thousands of snakes and we're all like, eh. Oh, that's sad too. I love these dudes that like capture people and then when the minute they turn around they're like, yeah, I like you, I'm fine. They fall for it. They're like, yeah, of course. You're not tricking me. I'm buying it. So I'm confused. So this is the, this is the well of souls, right? I mean, because the light was meant to shine through the staff and point out exactly where the well of souls is and that's what they were digging and going into so they're into that but now the ark is in that right and that's what holds all the power i mean she is drinking it so is she fake she can't be faking drunk but she must i feel like she is my family table. <laughs> but she is drinking it. It's not like she's pouring it out or anything. And if he's getting wasted and she looks it too. <laughs> or I guess drunk or not, she can still fight him. <laughs> <laughs> it's this guy on his way to rid the world of tunes. <laughs> Such a villain. What? It was to hang his coat on? <laughs> I thought it was going to be some nunchuck kind of weapon. And it's to hang his coat. <laughs> The gold lighting, my fave, the themes. That's it, right? I do love all the shadow shots. Ooh. Is this just the two of them? Oh, wait, no, someone else. Now the team is hoisting it up. Okay, I was gonna say, but the rest was just the two of them. Uh oh. This is what I was expecting yesterday, but they completely got away with yesterday. Come on, Indy. What are you doing in such a nasty place? I mean, how's he going to turn this around? He's literally in the hole with her, and they have everything they need. That's a cool shot. <laughs> I love that because he got her to put that dress on, she's now become like similar to in Temple of Doom with Kate Capshaw, always fully glammed up. In the end, she's in that, you know, completely bejeweled gown. 
Yeah. Now this is similar where the girl's all in a pretty outfit, princess outfit. Are the snakes going to somehow help him? Or no, the snakes are the, the villain still. He doesn't like snakes. Climbing the skin. No thanks to you. So was she really drunk and she's just sobered up fast? I don't still think that if they were really drinking the alcohol, she couldn't have um, pretended. There are so many snakes in camp. That was just to spite me when I was big talking, being super fine. Well, he's doing very well facing his fear. <laughs> eh? The music restoring faith. Let's go. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. I thought that might be the case. Uh, and like some mommy, or not mommies, but like some mass coffin room. Ugh. When we are very far from here. Looks like it's bereit, Herr Mayor. It can be laden werden. So the French guy might not even be that bad of a dude, but he's just been employed by the, the evils. And although still he had her tied up. No, okay. He's on the bad team. This guy's stripping down a fight. This guy looks terrifying. Somebody can get their head cut off in the prop. Come on, Dada. She's gonna swing something at him and knock him out? No. Oh no, although she seems pretty capable and able. Maybe, maybe she knows how to fly. <laughs> I misunderstood. I thought he had said the plan was like, let's go and hide on the plane. And then when they put the Ark on, we'll already be on it. But these are small planes. It's, the Ark's not going on these. These are like just little... I don't think. I mean, I don't know. There just doesn't seem to be the space. I didn't think this was the sort of plane that he was talking about. Come on, you got this. Finish him. No, not him. This is what I was talking about. This is the propeller. Don't. When I first saw it, I thought that was going to happen, but then I didn't, I don't know, I thought it might be too gory. I guess you didn't see anything, but I'm, I'm happy they did it. <laughs> that looks cool. The plane is still just spinning endlessly. Billy, we have no time. If you still want the Ark, it has been loaded onto a truck for Cairo. Truck? Yes, we still want the Ark. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite line of the movie so far. Wait, have we even seen him on a horse yet? I'm blurring, you know, images you see with memories with the last video. No, I think elephant, or we haven't actually seen him ride a horse like that through there. He can do anything. <laughs> Although with all the bullets and arrows and he's lucky that his opponents don't have the most, you know, impeccable aim sometimes because he's not like he's covered in bulletproof outfit or anything like that. So it could easily all be over in a second. There's so many guys though. How's he going to beat all? Okay, we're losing them one by one, but still there's so many. They're all there.
And not to bring everything back to my Disneyland ride, but I only do it because it was my only Indiana Jones experience until now. Um, they're all kind of combined in the ride because I feel like even though it's the mine from like the end of Temple of Doom, there was the ball in the beginning of this one. And then what you're actually in is more like this. It's kind of little trucky, um, you know, uh, thing that this truck that he's driving, that's more like what you get into um, on the ride. Oh, see, we have a similar cliff in the in the Temple of Doom. Come on. So what, we got a couple of Nazis on here, and we got the other, the car with the French guy and the two main head honchos. This all would have been so much fun on the big screen. Oh, that got him. Have we even seen him shot before? I don't know. That got him in the arm. But we're getting to the end, I feel, so it's okay. We can, we can get that looked at after we secure the arc. This guy looks like Paul Newman for a second. I mean, Paul Hogan for a second. <laughs> Good stunt. He's a toughie. And he's got the shot arm. He's got the bullet in his arm where it just kept going and was a graze after all, but hopefully just a graze. <sighs> and he's in the truck. He has the arc. We're good. Is that it? Does he need to kill him or he just like can get away? I think I'm still recovering from the girl not being dead. That really, that really threw me when they're like, I heard Marianne died and he's like, yeah, I know. I bought it. I fell for it. They are my family. I will get out of it if they are not treated well. My cabin. Is oh no, I thought we were done and now I feel like I don't trust this guy. Is this one more? Is there one last hurdle or is this guy going to take care of them? You're my good friend. Sorry. <laughs> I love I the way the lead women always end up in these big dresses at the end. I don't know. We're about to find out. This surely is going to be the last. So this is the last stretch. How did you get that? I've got a feeling I'm not the first woman to travel with these pirates. Lovely. That's right, he got shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, I don't need any help. Uh, it's all banged up at the front here. So how is he meant to be in this? Like, 40 in this? And so they hung yeah. out when he was like 30. Please. I don't need a nurse. I just want He's to sleep. He's such a baby. Mary. Still got the hat on. Well, God damn it, anywhere doesn't it hurt? Here. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Cute. Jones, we never seem to get a break, do we? I wonder if they stay together into the other movies, or if it's just a new love every time. Little rat. I'm a rat in Chinese astrology, year of the rat. Power of the Ark. Oh no, what is this, a Nazi submarine? He looks so good without the hat. I know the hat's iconic. Oh, that's it. It just burnt the side and then then stopped destroying the box.
<sighs> You'll bring a very good prize. Hmm? Herr Colonel. Wait, so he's he's not a bad dude. He's trying to. It's me you've been doing, Sir Jewish. I'll waste no more time with that. It's all completely ADR with that kind of wind going on. I've looked everywhere. Because. Spin, do a spin. <sighs> Gets so stressful at the end. You're right. What was I thinking? Thinking that just getting onto the ship was going to be smooth sailing, pardon the pun, um, till the finish line. I can't believe I even entertained that for a second. Of course, this was going to happen. Well, they're not going to kill her. She would, they would have killed her on the spot, so he knows he's just got to rescue her. <laughs> he's too buff for the mini jacket. Uh-oh. Accomplish your mission and obtain the one true arc. Is he a goodie and, and he's going to turn around and be completely good? I know we've, like, I've gone back and forth between being like, oh, look, he's just doing his job because they hired him, or he's a baddie, and now he's a goodie, and now I feel like maybe... As fellow archaeologists, there's going to be some sort of, like, kindred camaraderie thing. We'll see. Because he wants him to open it, and I want to know why. This guy's outfit! Got a bazooka? Jones? Yeah. It's beyond your wildest aspirations. You want to see it open as well as I. Indiana. It, it did stuff on the ship. It got all riled up the ark itself. This. This is history. Maybe it's like the sword in a stone. You know, it can't go to the unrightful. Owner, it can't go into bad hands. Only gonna go to Indy. Okay, so it's the Ark. <laughs> and it's fully intact and fine, and I was just spiraling. Well, I don't know. All I know is it burnt the box, the crate. Wait, wait, wait. So all that ornate stuff is just the case. The thing is actually inside and now it's just sand? Like all of that gold, the two gold wingy things and all of that, that's just like the... But the Ark itself is in that? Okay, so for a second I thought it was like nothing, but it is this well of souls. It does have, look at all this power, little spirits. Terrifying. Now it looks like Ghostbusters. So many movies look like other movies, like just different imagery. Terrifying. Don't open. Locked in. Oh my gosh, it just got everybody. It's gonna kill everybody but the two of them. Oh my gosh! No! Oh, so it's not, it's, it definitely is evil power. It's not just power. This is gnarly. Yeah, so I was right in the beginning. Like, this is a much bigger force they're dealing with than, than the stones from Temple of Doom, for example, that were very, they were much more specific in what they were sort of um, connected to. This is huge, all-powerful. 
dangerous. So what, they're just gonna keep it in the museum and not open it and mess with it? You did it! Of course. There is the Ark. Oh! The Ark is somewhere very safe. He's not handing it over. Oh, they're not! Oh, Indy doesn't even know where it is. Top men. I wonder if these movies, if it leaves you on a real hook hook. You know, like the other one finished and wrapped up. It's actually, like, for an adventure film, it is such a beautifully shot film. Like, this is, you know, reminiscent of old Audrey Hepburn movies. That shot there, like, it's, it's very pretty. Wait, so where did it go? So he handed it over, and then they took it, and he doesn't even know. And that's why I wonder if the next movie they went back in time, because maybe this does... Oh, this is everything that's of that kind of value and importance and secret, and holy moly. Look at all of this stuff. Oh, so it's not a hook as such, but it's like... It leaves us open to, like, the multitude of adventures and stuff that he can go into next. Ah! That was great! I'm gonna take these off ah, for the credits. Oof. Ah, that was fun! I mean, I, I feel like I didn't, you know, I didn't experience it in the same way as most people that would have, you know, never heard of Indiana Jones, and that was their first meeting of him. Um, but I liked that I knew who he was, and I knew kind of what was gonna happen and had a feel for the whole um, vibe of the film. I'm definitely enjoying them so much more than, than I thought I would, for sure. Uh, adventure is not my, like, I didn't think was sort of my favorite genre, um, but they've been wonderful, so. Yeah, I miss Ki Hui Kwan. He was, I mean, he was exceptional in the Temple of Doom, so that's my only, like, that's my biggest uh, negative, I guess. But I'm happy to keep going. I'm gonna watch, uh, so what do I have next? That was Raiders. I watched Temple of Doom, that's Raiders. So the next one is number three, which is The Last Crusade, I wanna say, which is not actually The Last Crusade. Um, but yeah, stick with me and I'll, I, I need a little break for a second and then I'll get stuck into The Last Crusade. But thanks for watching along. Um, I'm Kobe, this is Popcorn Roulette. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for the next reaction. Bye.